All right. Welcome back to No Effort. Uh, we're gonna clap sync this time. I, this this was weird, but my audio completely like fucked up for the last episode, and I had to manually fix it in OBS, and it was weird and it was hard. So in case it does it again, there is a clap sync. Now we are good. I'm probably gonna do that for every episode from now on. I might do it before the actual recording, but I thought we'd do it on the recording today. Welcome back to No Effort. Four left before I'm on vacation. How are you guys doing? Hope everyone is doing well. And there has been something that has bugged me for the past couple episodes, ever, ever since episode one of No Effort, ever since episode one of No Effort has come out, there's been something that's bugging me. We need water. We need like like a bucket of water. We don't have a bucket. We have iron. This sheep is not is like gonna be my friend. I guess I I don't know. He won't leave. So I guess he's my friend. Do we have a name tag? We don't. I'm sorry, sheep. You don't get to be named. Um. So we need to get water. I'm gonna get just two buckets worth. Jesus Christ! I can't click good. Uh, uh. <sighs> oh no! <laughs> No! No! Too many buckets. Are you, I I I promise I was just trying. Do we have any more iron? That was all my iron. There wouldn't be a way I could like turn it back, right? Nope. But I can make a lot of kitchen sinks. Oh my God! We can make a ventium bucket. We could trade it with a villager and buy Ventium buck. Oh my god, I didn't mean to make 40 fucking four buckets. I didn't mean so so many buckets. Fuck, that was not my intent. We have no more iron. We gotta go mining like soon. Well, uh, that was not what I intended to do, but welcome back to no effort. I was gonna make an iron shovel, but I guess we're gonna dig with our fist. Fuck. Today, I was trying to say before I made a million buckets, I need a shovel. I'm using a diamond. I don't care. Like, oh, I have a diamond shovel. Since when? Ugh. That'll work. Today, we're going to be getting the Aether Dragon. But I don't know if I want to do that anymore because I think I might need to mine. Today, we were going to go get the... I might save that for next part now because I already know what my thumbnail is going to be. It's going to be all of those buckets. I, I... I did not mean to make that many bucket. I... Oh, my God. I fucked it. Like, I... Like, I uber fucked it. <laughs> oh, no, man. I made too many buckets. Well, here's a pit and the pit will be useful later. See, I'll explain it next episode. I, I mean, I'm recording them all in tandem anyway, so who gives a fuck? I'll explain this next part. Don't worry about the pit. We're just digging a pit. And no, it's not like Obungula's Sevtech Buffalo Pit. Don't get don't get too excited, okay? We're just gonna dig this pit, and then we're gonna make a mine down to diamond level. Fuck me. Dude, I really just did that. I really just made 44 buckets. I really, I really just did that. I really just fucking, I really went and did that. I really went and made 44 buckets. Whoops. I feel defeated. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> oh my God, that was so bad. But welcome back to No Effort. I guess today we're gonna go mining. Today is gonna be mining trip day. And I was thinking about where to make the mine and I thought, why not right here? We could make a little like another tree awning and we can make just a, a little mine shaft down here. And we'll go all the way down to um, bedrock and, well, not bedrock, level 12? I'm pretty sure this is 118.2, so I think Deep Slate's in this? I'm pretty sure Deep Slate's in this. I don't remember since last time I went down in the mines. Uh, if there is, then we got to dig for a very long time and it sucks. But if there isn't, then life is better. It's okay. doesn't really matter. Not too worried about it. We need to get down to diamond level anyway. We need resources. I am in full iron and I just made 44 buckets. Can we, can we, can we, I don't want anyone to forget what just happened here today. I made 44 bu- Oh God, this is a cave. How does this always happen? How does this always happen? Why can't I make a proper mine down? Why is there always a cave in my way? Also, why can't I vein mine? Like I'm trying, is it because my pickaxe sucks mega dick? Is that why? I think that might be why. I think it's because my pickaxe sucks mega dick. Well, that's not good. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. Whatever. We're just trying to make a mine down to bedrock-ish. Why negative 50? 
I think that's a that that's like prime diamond level, and that's that's what I want is I want to find some diamonds because today, in my recording sessions, if you want a little bit of spoilers of what's gonna happen for the next couple of no efforts, uh, I gotta make an enchantment table, an anvil. We need gear. We need to be set. We're not set right now. We are the opposite of reset. We are re we are regret. We are regret, and that's not good. I don't I don't <laughs> I don't want to be regret. So we got to work on that. We got to get a lot of shit going. And I'm recording four no efforts back to back to back. I've just uploaded the last one. So I made sure to at least get it up on time. Yay me. Uh, and then I went to the store, bought some dish soap and uh, some lunch and whatnot. And now we're here. And now I'm here to fucking record for the last of my no efforts before I leave. I literally have a whiteboard that has all the no efforts that I have to do so I can, you know, help me stay tra uh, keep track. Fun fact, if you're a YouTuber or an aspiring YouTuber and you need like, you need to stay organized, best, best thing that's worked for me, whiteboard. I have a whiteboard that I write down everything I have to do for that week and I check it off whenever I get something done. That way I'm not burnt out on one singular project. I'm running like four different ones at once. I don't get confused. It, it's just great. It works wonderful for me. I don't know if it'll work well for everybody, but try it. Why not? Fuck it. I mean, you're talking, you're, you're taking advice from the guy that just made 44 buckets. So, I mean, I really, <laughs> I really don't know what you expected from me. I, I really don't know what, what, you, what you want from me. I made 44 buckets. That's, that's going on my resume. Like that's, 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 that's my, uh, that, that's what I did with my life. What did you do today? Oh, you filed taxes? Yeah, I made 44 buckets in Minecraft. <sighs> At least we have torches. At least we have torches. So yeah, we're gonna be mining um, till we can get down to bedrock level. Luckily, we actually, we're pretty low to the ground. We're only on Y50, so that's not bad. It's only gonna take uh, like 10, 15 minutes. And I can talk to you guys while I do. Welcome back to No Effort. How you guys doing? Hope everyone's doing well. Um, by the time you see this, I will be getting on a plane and heading to Vegas. Well, eh. By the time you see next episode, I'll be in Vegas. But by the time you see this one, I'll probably be like packing my bag and getting ready because my, my flight leaves at like seven o'clock Tuesday. Today is Monday. So I literally leave, I, I leave tomorrow. My, my flight leaves in the afternoon, evening even, more evening than afternoon. I'm not fucking bringing a bag. I only have a carry-on, so that's gonna be awesome. Bad news, though, and this is gonna... Some people, some people are going to, like, have flashbacks whenever I say the words I'm about to say. I'm flying American Airlines there, but back, I have to fly Spirit. No, no, not even Spirit. You would think Spirit would be bad, right? I have to fly Frontier. I'm scared. I'm scared, dude. They might rob me or something. <laughs> like... I never got back that fucking collector's bottle. They never gave that to me. So that fucking sucks. But I have to fly back Frontier. They were the only flights that were available, which is why I'm bringing nothing. But I mean, bar the fact that I'm only staying there for like a day and I can fit a change of clothing in my carry-on bag. Um, that's all I'm bringing is one change of clothing. So hopefully we don't have any problems with Frontier Airlines because if you don't know, I'm gonna shit the fuck on Frontier right now. I don't give a damn, I don't like Frontier. I'm gonna shit on them real hard. Uh, if you don't know Frontier, specifically, they um, are, they, they pride themselves on being like the cheapest flight possible. They're like, they're like, they're like diet spirit. They're like even cheaper than Spirit Airlines. Um, but the thing is, they get all their money back for the dumb schmucks who bring a bag and don't get it checked properly. Because if you have to check a bag at the airport with Spearline, Spirit, whoa, Jesus, Spearline. I just fused Spirit and Frontier Airlines and made the worst flight possible. No, um, Frontier, if you have to check your bag with Frontier Airlines, literally, and I, I'm not joking you, I had to check a bag that was 31 pounds and it, 30 pounds is the limit for like a $50 bag. And then they put extra on depending on how much it costs. I still cannot vein mine this stuff. I guess I'm just not allowed. Long story short, it cost me $35 extra for that one pound. And to check a bag was $80. My flight, now keep in mind, it was a round trip. So that's two flights in one. But one way was $78. The bag was more expensive than the flight. So this time, 
We ain't bringing a bag, all right? We ain't bringing a fucking bag. And hopefully everything goes well. Hopefully I just get the bag in Vegas. <sighs> and uh, rest assured, I'm going to talk about all of everything that happens on No Effort. You know I got to take a chance to make content out of everything. That's how we roll. So, yeah, get excited for that. Next week I've got... <laughs> Next week, a no effort video comes out called I Lost All My Money, and there's like seven frowny faces in the fucking title. <laughs> like, I hope not. Maybe the next episode that comes out, I'm a millionaire. Imagine. <laughs> oh, man. Fun fact, you know what? I will tell one story. So, uh, this is 100% real. This is 100% real. I am turning 21 in the next two days. Um... So I've never been to Vegas because I've never been allowed in. They only let you in if you're 21. But not all casinos work like that. A lot of casinos, if they're not run by, I think it's MGM. No, wait, that's that's a copyright studio. Uh, Caesars? I th yeah, I think it's Caesars. Caesars, basically all the ones they run, run under, you have to be 21 to get in. But m other ones aren't like that. For example, the one in Oklahoma called Windstar, the biggest casino in the South, actually. And uh, that one only has a limit of being 18 years old to join. Sorry about that. So, uh, Windstar, Windstar. So I went to Windstar because I was 18, I was allowed in, and I went to gamble. It was not my first time ever. My first time ever, I only like, like I, 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 I won like $100. It wasn't anything like spectacular, but I didn't lose any money, so that was neat. Uh, but this time, it was my birthday. I, I had, It was last year? Hold on. Was it last year? One of those years. Uh, I have no fucking clue, man. I just, time flies. But I was, um, uh, I, I was just sitting there gambling at this machine uh, called uh, Hot Stuff. It's got a little like baby devil on it and the music is like super like rhythmic and catchy so it keeps you there the whole time. But the reason that I like to gamble at this one is because it's got a couple things that were special about it. Um the machine will basically <laughs> I don't know like exactly why and maybe some people that are I don't know, gamble machinologists in the comment section would know. But whenever you're doing particularly really bad, like you, like say you spent $100 in this machine and it is giving you nothing, the screen will turn black and the devil baby runs across the screen. And whatever happens on that next spin, you're guaranteed to win something good. So what I would do is I always would go the highest bet. It's a penny slot, so you could literally bet for 40 cents. I would bet for $3 each time I would spin. And whenever that would hit, you could win like you could win money you could and, and and it would it would usually for me personally make me go up because there was other factors in that machine that would also help you win there is there was like um there's a pot that every time you hit like one of the wilds it will fill the pot and the pot burst at random times it's really just a graphic it doesn't matter how much you fill the pot it's gonna explode when it fucking feels like it but it's it's still a neat little thing to have um, and then there's also, uh, if you hit three wilds in a row, you get to spin a wheel and the wheel is, is also a jackpot. So there were three types of jackpots that you could use to keep yourself in the game while you're spending money and try to gain money. Well, that time it didn't do jack shit for me. That time the machine hated my guts, like bad. I brought $500 to the casino for my birthday. And let me tell you, within two hours, I had $100 left. <laughs> It was bad. It was not going well, and I was using that that like that mindset of like if you keep going It'll give back. It did. It gave me a hundred dollars. I then proceeded to lose two of it So I was down to 100 bucks left. All right It was not going well, and I was like upset. I, I was even like fuck this machine I don't even want to play anymore. I just want to fucking go home I was all pouty and shit because I mean it's it's hard to not be when you just lose money at a casino It's not that's not a fun feeling which I mean, that's why you're not supposed to go with anything that you're not prepared to lose, which is my golden rule for any type of casino gambling. Like, holy shit, uh, that, that's fucking obvious. But that's not the point of the story. The point of the story, <laughs> this isn't a PSA on going to a casino and being smart with your money, uh, but do that anyway, be smart with your money. The PSA 
over. The story continues, because I sat down at a machine that was just adjacent to the devil machine. Like just right, like right, it was actually right behind it. I could spin the swivel chair they give you around and then I was at the machine. Now, one thing about casinos, maybe I'm just an idiot, but but I, I think this is true. Um, the one thing about casinos is that for some fuck off reason, they make every like thing on the machine really, really confusing to read and understand the numbers and what they mean, which is why I like the devil because the devil machine, it was very simple. You know, three cherries meant three times what you put in. Three diamonds meant seven times what you put in. That's, it's super easy math. You know, you get it. It was wonderful. It was not hard to understand at all. But then you get to like machines where it's like, you put in your five times output and you have a chance of a 10 times over roll if you get this, which also gives you three bonus rolls. And these bonus rolls will stack in multiplications of this. And it's all just fancy shit to make you think, oh my God, I'm gonna win a lot of money. But actually, 99% of the time, you get fuck all. The reason I bring this up, though, is because when I spun around in my little swivel chair, I sat at some, at, at this, like, pig machine. I, I don't know if I could find a picture of it online. Maybe we can. Uh, editor clips, if that's not too much for you. I know you got a lot on your plate right now. Uh, pig machine slot. There you go. We'll put that there. We'll see if I can find it. If not, just imagine pig machine, okay? Pig machine. It's got a little oinky, oinky, piggy banky boy, right? And he, he just like the devil, ha was the pot, and he would get bigger as it goes, and he would explode. He didn't explode. I've never seen the pig explode, but when it does, I have seen, like, an old 70-year-old grandma win $4,000, so I, that was a little... I was jealous. But for me, I just hit the max bet because it said 750 right? But then there was also another button that was automatically pressed by default that said 3x. I didn't know that going in, but I put in my money and it said $25 because I just put in a 20 and I had a 5 on a voucher. And I spun and all my money went away. I was like, I thought I had three spins. I thought that was $7. Well, it was $7 times three. So that was 21 bucks I threw into this. And I'm like, man, fuck, I'm not going to this machine again. It just fucked me the hell over. And it spins. And then it lands, and I see three little wild pigs light up. And I'm like, what the fuck? Okay, cool. And the machine's making all these really exciting noises, like, oh my god, you just won. But it, it, here's, here's a tip. Every machine does that. You could win $1, and it's like, yeah, you did it! Woo! Because it wants you to be excited, it wants you to keep playing. It wants you to be in that moment. So, I thought nothing of it until it spun and said $300. I was like, whoa, I won 300 bucks. Then it said seven spins remaining. I was like, excuse me? And it spun again for me. If you know uh, about casinos, that's basically I landed on bonus spins. It spun those for free without me having to pay. And at the end of all the bonus spins, which you could actually get more bonus spins in your bonus spins. You could technically chain it forever if you had infinite luck, but I mean, that's, no one has that. Um, and it just kept going till I ended up winning $2,500 from that machine. I was like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I freaked the fuck out because I put a 20 in and I left with 2,500 and I, I, I went back up to the hotel room and I put away 2,000 of it. Um, and we had to have, we actually had to have like a a person come up to me and I'd have to sign to like get the money. It, it was too much for the machine itself to just give. Cause like, if it was like a $500 thing, the machine can still give that, but it was too much. I had to have like someone come over. It was like an attendant will be with you shortly. And they gave me the money. Uh, and I went up to the hotel room and I put 2000 of it away and I brought back 500 cause that's what I came in with. And I, and I just played with that all night. I ended up losing all that 500, but that was still a fucking win for me. And that is the story of how a pig won me $2,500. Let's hope that happens again in Vegas. <laughs> I want you to know I went back to that same casino like six months later and I, I sat down at that same pig machine and I lost $300 at that pig machine. So it giveth and it taketh. It was all just luck. There was, there was no rhyme or reason. It's not like that pig was the golden lucky like charm. I just was completely lucky. All right, we need to turn. There's too much. There's too much bad. But yeah, there you go. That's the story. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you like these rambly tales. I like getting all rambly on episodes of No Effort. It's always really nice. And uh, we're almost 
We're almost into like the proper deep slate layer. We're at eight. We're at eight. Uh, I think we, I'm pretty sure we go into the negatives here. Now, what worries me is the deeper dark is a thing. And I'm pretty sure I know the deeper dark mod. And I think it's at bedrock where you can just get sent into the deeper dark dimension. Problem about that. I don't know where bedrock is. And if I accidentally get sent into the deep dark dimension, I think I'm actually fucked. So that's bedrock. We now go back up. <laughs> we now go back up. That is exactly what we do. We get the fuck out of here and we go to Y level 12 so we can mine for all the lovely resources. Good because there's a lava pool here anyway and I didn't really want to deal with it. There we go, Y level 12 and we have a mine all the way down to bedrock. Fantastic, good, good. And it only took one casino story, see, easy. Easy, relatively painless, and we can make stairs up and down here as well so I don't have to hop and waste tons of durability because I don't even have a lot of food. I have six glow berries. My, my fucking farm needs to grow, man. It really does. Like, it's kind of a struggle. I'm gonna go and get stairs so I can put stairs on this entire thing. All right, let's go. Oh, man. But yeah, no, that is, that is my, do I have any other casino stories? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I have one other casino story, and I think it's fitting because we'll be heading to a casino soon, and then I'll have more stories to tell you. But I have one more that I can tell on this episode. Um, so it, it goes like this. I went to the casino. I only ever bring 500. That's that's the limit that I ever let myself bring to a casino. That's, that's it. That's all I ever bring. Uh, and I only go like once a year, twice a year max. I don't... I, I, casinos can be very addicting and you have to be careful. So um, I'm very responsible with it. So I only brought 500. Now I have to preface that I'm responsible because I only brought 500. I have a very addictive personality. And if I don't limit myself going in, it's very easy to get down that slope of, well, I mean, I could get it all back. And that's what casinos try to get from you. That's the whole point of a casino. They try to rail you like that, right? Obviously. But I know, you know, my limits. I know what I can reasonably do and what I can't. So I only bring 500. And I bring this up for the story because I lost 450 of it in 35 minutes. Remember that devil? I was really going hard on that machine saying, hey, it's gonna pay out if I just keep going the top one and we'll hit one of the things, we'll be lucky, we'll be great. It was not going well. Like, I I'm talking like I was ready to leave in 30 minutes of being there. It's a three hour drive from where I used to live to this casino. And 30 minutes in, I was like, I'm ready to go home. I'm done. <laughs> I won't be here no more. Um, but I'm at the devil. And I, I promise you, I, I never trusted the machine again after this, but it like it, it, it must have felt bad or something because I literally on my last like $50 bill, I put it in the machine and I'm like, let's just use it so I can go I'm like, fuck this. And I burst the pot. Like I said earlier, that machine has a pot. I burst it. And when you burst the pot, uh, this machine in particular gives you like 20 coins and you tap a coin it flips over it says minor uh it says major mega ultra insane godlike dad fucking cries and jesus I, I don't know i don't know what the top ones are um the, the the main one was ultra because i flipped over two coins that said minor and that sucks because you flip over a third one you get the minor reward it was 10 whole dollars and i put in 50. um not to mention the other 200 that I put in playing that machine in the, in its entirety. Uh, so I, I, I was, I, I got two miners. I was like, man, fuck it, whatever. But there are, there, 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 there are saves. There are a couple ones that you can, you can flip over a pitchfork and the pitchfork ends up uh, axing the lowest one. So I did minor, minor pitchfork and it crossed out both miners. So we're back down to zero. We have nothing showing and we click again and I get the other pitchfork and it flips over all the major ones and gets rid of the major. So all we have is mega, ultra, 
Grandmaster and uh, 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 the, uh, whatever the other one was. I don't know, Jesus. <laughs> I don't remember what I said. Um, and after flipping two Megas and two Ultras and two Grandmasters, I was like, well, I at least get the Mega. That's not bad, right? And I flipped the last one and it's Ultra. And Ultra hadn't been hit in a while. If you don't know, um, machines, the, all the jackpots reset when they're hit by one person. And all the machines of one type all reset at the same time. So Ultra hadn't been hit in a while. Ultra's usually 500 to start with, but it slowly ticks up over time. It was at 860. I hit that, was like, oh, that was close. Went back up to the hotel, laid down in that bed, and I went to sleep. <laughs> I was like, I won. I'm done. It's okay. I don't need to play no more. That's... How did I fuck this up? Really? Oh, come on. But yeah, I, I was like, I don't want to play no more. We're done. We're good. It's okay. I, 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 I'm good. I won. Wonderful. <laughs> I, I, can, I, I can be done. Get me out of here. So yeah, that was my experience at casinos for the past two years. Um, and I'm about to go to the big one, Vegas, for my 21st birthday. I think that's a pretty cool way to celebrate a 21st. Not as cool as my live stream. Dude, the live stream that we just did. Okay, I I'm going to talk about that next episode. Because if I keep talking about all the topics that, that I have, then I won't have anything to say for the last episode of No Effort. And you guys will just hear me go, uh, the whole time. And I, I don't think anyone wants that. But... For the sake of time, let's just go mining for the last bit of this episode. We got about 10 more minutes of recording. Let's go mining. Let's go see how that goes. Let's make sure that I fucking... Di how am I this stupid? How am I this stupid? How am I this... Dude, I bet you everyone was like, like while I was telling that story, was like, No! No! He fucked up the stairs! He fucked up the stairs! Ah, oh, I'm so sorry, viewers. I'm so sorry, audience. Oh, no. I fucked up the stairs. I fucked up the stairs. Man, I was gonna use that iron that I made 44 buckets out of. I was gonna use it for an anvil. Thank God we have 57, because that needs to become an anvil stat. Because I need... One, I need an axe. I'm gonna run out of my axe. Fuck, man. Uh, this was pretty, and now it's bullshit. Ah. Well, I figured out what we're doing with the end of this episode. Whee! Fuck. Dumb. I'm so stupid. At least this is patterned, right? Okay, that one works. Thank God. Jesus. Oh, okay. How long does it possibly take for wheat to grow? It's just wheat. It's not like the magical fucking flowers of yore. It's wheat, dog. Just let the wheat grow. I'm starving to death. I have two berries. I'm gonna have to bone meal it. All right, let's uh, smelt the iron. All right, and so I don't starve to death. Oh, okay, well at least that's reasonable. The wheat's really tall in this. That's kind of cool. Eight whole bread. Don't eat it all in one place. Oh my God, we're gonna starve. <laughs> We're gonna fucking starve. Okay, but it's fine. It's whatever. Let's go make another axe. And fix the damn stairs. Ugh. God. Anyone listen to Kyle Exum? I know I listen to the weirdest music possible. And I'm okay with that. I, I'm okay to live with that my entire life. I, I, I like what I listen to, and that's all that matters to me. Oh. <sighs> Loud like who lived on the ringer? Basically, keep dropping, dropping, basically keep dropping butterfingers. <laughs> I've been tick tocking while I'm walking with my dots and booty rocking. Hit the woe and popping, locking with like a clock. And I've been straight flowing while I'm scrolling, losing focus. <laughs> Take it back with all the motions. All right. Make these goddamn stairs right. It should not have been that hard. <laughs> Uh, okay, look. Stair, wood, stone, 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 
Wood. I'm getting too fast. Stone. Wood. Stone. Wood. Not wood again. No, that's stone. It's the easiest pattern known to mankind. If this, then that. That's all it is. Jesus Christ. Boop. The episode of No Effort where EQ places stairs and makes 44 fucking buckets. In the next episode, maybe I'll be better at this game. Probably not. Thank you all so much for watching. My name has been Eclipse again. And next episode we go mining and we get some enchants going. Fucking finally. See you guys.